Welcome back to Information Communication Technology 0417, paper 32 for data analysis, Excel or spreadsheet, and we're going to carry on on paper 3. So let's scroll back to the paper we're done with the website authoring in the previous video. So right now we're going to start from task 3 for spreadsheet. So you are going to prepare a spreadsheet to super desk sales. This company makes and sells storage devices. The company will use a spreadsheet to compare some of the solid state drives. Okay? So that they sell all prices in euros. That should be very clear here and must be displayed with two decimal places. Okay. So keeping those points in mind, mainly these two points, two decimal places and all currencies in euros. So open and examine the SST manufacturer dot csv and sst dot csv in a spreadsheet package so let's go to our working area and we have these two files over here let's open them and examine them that's the first quest over here okay that's the first one and second one So let's check the first one. The first one include uh, the M code and the manufacturer. So it like for each code we have one manufacturer for E, P, N, Z, for S, Samsung, and so on. Let's go and check the next file. Next file have more columns. S code. So let's put them next to each other first. Okay, and let's see first here. So I have M code since that M code is the same as here and I have the S code. S code seems like a unique number for each of them. And then we have M code, M code which is taken from here, but the manufacturer is not present or not presented over here. Okay? Then we have the model for each, the capacity in giga, its price and the price per giga. Okay, those are not too column seems empty uh, this one and this one okay anyway we have one column from here that its data can come easily from over here and filled over here so this is the first we're done with examining this in the SSD spreadsheet insert two rows at the top or uh, two new rows at the top so let's go to SSD file and we need to add two new columns two new rows at the top so that's one and that's second and then enter in cell a1 this following text a1 is over here okay and merge the cells from a1 till g1 I like them let me adjust it back Okay, format the merged cell from A1 to have a white 30 point serif font and red background as it is showing over here, but this is what black and white. So let's make it first of all to have a white and 30 point. Okay, so let's make it with a white font, red background, and a 30 point. Usually all the point, the, uh, all the fonts here are measured in point, and then serif font means a decorated font. That's not a decorated one, so just go and choose any of the decorated. If you have any issues in not finding a proper one, just by default most of the devices have Times New Roman. Just use it. Okay, we're done with this point. Formatting. So then format the text in row three to be red 18 point sans serif this is row 3 so I'm just going to highlight over this it needs to be red 18 and sans serif so red means red color not red background and it's supposed to be 
sans serif this is already actually sans serif if you need to change it to Calibri, Arial or anything else you can decide that isn't it just too big? I feel like it's really large okay anyway um, and then I'm done with formatting the third row and then we have to format the top of the spreadsheet to look like this okay so let's have a look over here seems this one is bold so let's go and make it bold okay that's better mm -hmm. I'm looking this is from left alignment left alignment as you can see this is also left right numbers are right alignments and text are left alignment okay it looks quite similar if you want to reduce the second row as it is in that page you can reduce it as you can see over here two is not visible or just partially visible um, so if this spreadsheet with the file name SSD, uh, SDS, underscore SSD, then underscore, and then put your information. So let me just copy it and change the information. So save as, browse into your working area. So let me make sure I'm saving it in my working area. Yes, it is my working area. Put the name, and don't forget to change, this is an important point. To change it to your Excel X or Excel workbook, um, I need to adjust to my center number and put your candidate number as well. So save it. Okay, here we go. It got saved. Make sure it is saved in your working area. Here we got it. And then let's go to the next question. We already saved it. And then place your name, center number, candidate number center align in the header okay it is header and it is center aligned all the details are mentioned so let's go to view and then page layout and in the center over here in the header put your information okay after you're done you just can leave it as it is or you're f if you're finding the where area is a little bit congested you just can go back again to view and click on normal so it will become normal again but it won't disappear it is still there the only thing you just expanded your work area when you go to print you will find that it is still visible over there so it just got disappeared from your working area okay place the text create it on again I need to go and I need to take this text and follow an automated date then space then automated time left align on the footer okay so I need to put this in the footer left aligned so we have to open it again so go to the footer actually you can go to any footer it's not just one if you add it here it will be added to everywhere so create it on then followed with automated date and space and then automated time so put it in the space here is important when you put space here you have to go to design tab and you will get the time and date over here so first of all date and then time so click on date put space and click on time that's it and you will get your time and date over here after that 16 in cell C4 use a function to look up manufacturer's name uh, use the M code column for the lookup value and the external file SST manufacturer for the array okay to do this let's say let's close the header and footer okay so what we need to do we need in cell 4 C4 which is this one we need to fill this manufacturer depending on that another file that we have it from here so in case it is a it's supposed to show this manufacturer at that at that B and if it is s then it should look for s and look for it and so on 
Just make sure you don't have any duplicated number or letters. It seems like all unique letters. And then let's do it by using the lookup. So to decide whether you're using VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP, you have to look at the data you're going to use here. If the values are presented in columns, which is as right now, encode and manufacturer, then you have to use the vertical one VLOOKUP because you're going to look for the information in the vertical way. If your information is presented in the opposite way, in rows, so let's say encode is presented like this, and manufacturers represented like this, then at that time it is horizontal, then you have to use edge lookup. Okay, so let's go and put our V lookup. The value will be taken from where from here we have to read it, and then comma for the table array, it's supposed to be taken from here. Okay, if you're facing this type of issue, as I am like over here highlighting this and it is not showing to me so what I have to do is I have to close this one let me just remove this for a while and then what I have to do I have to make sure to open it from the file itself if I can find it over here is it this one Oops, no. it was the manufacturer file this one okay right now I hope it's going to work so let's check it okay so let's again put the lookup and then okay let's put the value which is this one the value that will be depending on it the manufacturer will be uh, appearing so comma the table array right now we have to start to go to this is our table okay it's working right now and then comma so this is my table just to mention this is the table we're using uh, just to make sure that you're not including the header in it as header is not included as part of the M code it is just a header after all so comma and then they're asking for the column index what is column index what it's supposed to be appearing so manufacturer i need manufacturer to appear from this table one is m code two is placed with manufacturer so i have to put two as two is the second index that i wanted then the last comma and then we are looking for the exact match which is we have to write down false close the table and here we go so for a it is showing a dead a dead B. Okay, so let's go to the next question. And in cell G4, uh, did they ask for replication? So, so far, still no replicate. They didn't ask for replicating. Uh, okay, so let's carry on. In cell G4, use a formula to calculate the price per giga for this drive. Okay, so I have over here G4. In G4, they would need the price per giga. So I have the price here and I have the capacity in giga. So we have to take the price. So um, first, let me read the question carefully. And it is a formula. So it's not a function. And then we have to round it down to two decimal places. Also, we shouldn't forget that any numbers, because this is a price after all. So we have to find the price per giga. So this is going supposed to be as it is mentioned up here it's supposed to be in euros and supposed to be in two decimal places so after we're done we have to make it into those settings let's go back again to question 17 and let's put our formula our formula is the price divided with the giga so this is the capacity okay so we got it okay so what we have to do right now we have to go to the second part of it we have to round it down to two decimal places so we have to put the round down here. Okay, comma. And then we have to say to what digit you want it to be rounded. We want it to be rounded to two decimal places. Let's put it two decimal places and press enter. So it is rounded to two. Then finally, we have to make sure that it is in euros also. So go back to. 
Okay, well, I can do it from here or I can, if you cannot find the currency over there, right click and click on format cells, make it into a currency, make it into two decimal places and choose to be here, over here, euro. Okay, here it is. And click on OK. And here we go. Okay, then go to the next question. Replicate the function used in step 16 and 17 for each drive. So, this one, you just can double click over here and it will get replicated. The same for the price per giga. Got replicated. Okay, so let's get back again. So we already replicated. And then apply appropriate formatting to rows 4 to 108 for this of the spreadsheet. From 4 starting from here till the end, what I mean the price is anything in prices. It's supposed to be two decimal places and it's supposed to be in euros. So I have the prices over here. I am done with price per giga. We still didn't do for this price. So again, right click and go to currency and choose euro if you find it easy to choose it from here you can also choose it from here or if you found it easier from here you can do it as you like one thing here it's showing in two different ways you can choose any format either this or that one but as i chose here to be on the left side so i'm going to make also this one on the left side let me see over here if I click over here then where it comes it comes also on the left side so it doesn't make a difference that much so it's alright I'm going to keep it right click again on it just to make sure it is two decimal places yes and then click on ok let me also make this the same way into this one ok And then save your spread. We apply the appropriate format, and uh, we didn't miss anything. Okay, and then save your spreadsheet. After that, save your spreadsheet. Make sure you spread it. Uh, you save it after each step, and then print the entire spreadsheet showing the formula. So we have to show the formula, and we have to make sure that it's in the landscape orientation. The rows and columns are displayed. Okay, the contents of the cells are fully visible. That's going to be print out to your name, center, candidate number is supposed to be showing and also of course the formula is supposed to be showing. So let's make sure of those points. Go to formula and click on show formula. Maybe you can adjust it over here. And then let's go to print and finish the rest of the setting. So from the print we need to make sure the paper so let's go to page setup and let's make sure uh, where is okay so it's supposed to be landscape so the second point supposed to be rows and columns supposed to be displayed so to go to sheet and click over here row and column headings are displayed second point everything's supposed to be fully visible so let's go and click on okay It is not mentioned that it's supposed to be on all in one page. So there are parts here remaining on another page. Let me see. So the name, center number, candidate number also supposed to be showing. Over here this footer also showing. So this is also like a lot of pages. Another thing that it is also divided in another pages, so what we can do, we can go and fit it into one page. So let's go over here and let's say to fit it to one page and let's have a look if it is okay. Up, oh, no, that's too small. Uh, this can be the width and this can be the height. So height can be increased to more pages. Okay, 
right now it looks good what we did we just increased the height the height it shouldn't be like all fit in one page but the width I want it to be all fitting in one page so right now what is going we're going just to the next uh, content as we're changing the pages okay and then we can print this is as print out number two uh, the second print out print the entire spreadsheet showing the value so I need to show the value right now make sure the print out fits on a single page wide and is two pages tall okay it's point here mention single page it's supposed to be wide and two pages tall the heights up can be fitting into two pages but the width of all columns supposed to be in one page contents all uh, all cells are fully visible and no splitting words and for first thing let's go and hide the formula let's adjust it back again okay and then make sure you entered your name all the information showing the values and make sure that the print out fits on one okay there is no orientation specifically mentioned so let's go right now to print and what I need to do right now I need the width to be all of it so I have from A till G my columns all sub right now fitting into one page but the height is fitting into four pages I just want it to be on three pages so go over here and make this into let's reduce it and let's check it over here okay that become two let me back again increase it to three as it is asked in the question and what's happening is becoming four and let me read okay it's supposed to be two tall pages and let me adjust this back again let's make it two okay it's fitting two but i still have here a lot of space and the header and columns are not supposed to be uh showing because it is not mentioned even here so let's go over to page setup sheet and remove this tick okay we can find that here there is a, another wasted uh, pages here white space and in the page in the question this question there is nothing mentioned that it's supposed to be what specific orientation so we can choose the orientation that we like it so let's put it in this way and just make sure that it is uh, one width and two pages high so this is what we need and name center number visible photo is visible and then we can print the paper that's all for it that's going to be paper three for the next question extract only the drives made by samsung or ozt that cost under 200 euros with more than 200 gigabyte of storage capacity so we have to do some extractions over here okay let's do let's go back okay what we need to do only for manufacturer we need to set over here so let's add it let's go to home and let's click on filter it is added automatically to all the headers and then what we need to choose we need to choose X only let me just make sure Samsung or OZT Great and click on OK. So only choose for us Samsung o OZT. You will find that here. Even the rows become blue, and some of them even become hidden for whoever is not OZT or Samsung. That goes under 200 euros, means less than 200 euros, with more than, but the capacity is supposed to be more than this. But what is it that 200 is not included in the euro? So let's go to price and we can say number filter and it's supposed to be less than so it's supposed to be less than 200 have a look over here in price we have a lot of prices under 200 let me have a look I 
think all of them are okay. There are some, only very few above 200 anyway. Let's go to number filter. So less than, and we put 200. It's supposed to be reduced. So less than 200 euro, and then the next criteria it's supposed to be. So we're done with this one. And it's supposed to be for the capacity storage, it's supposed to be uh, more than 240 giga. So let's go again here and go to the capacity in giga, number of filters, and it's supposed to be greater than, greater than 240. Okay, great, the records become less. Right now, the next part of the question, sort the extract into ascending order of the manufacturer okay that's the first thing and then descending order depending on the price okay let's go back here let's highlight it over here and then let's go to um, custom sort and then let's arrange it over here so first of all ascending depending on your manufacturer so manufacturer is which uh, column it is B sorry C column C so just choose column C over here and then uh, the order is supposed to be ascending that means A to Z and then we add another level the second level is supposed to be ascending order of price so price is F so column F and that's supposed to be descend also ascending that means smallest to largest click on ok and what happened the starting from ascending so O and the price is also depending in the OZT it is also ascending and then same thing the price also ascending order over here so after this uh, print the extract values uh, or print the extract showing the values and that means we have to print the extract we shouldn't remove the filter and we have to show the values so let's go and do this or actually the value is already showing and then to print out fits on a single page and everything should be clearly visible we have to make sure of our informations also are visible so let's go to file print and let's just make sure that it is fitting on one single page it is already fitting on one single page um, everything also supposed to be visible let's go and check the question so that's going to be print out for we're done with it and we're done with Excel spreadsheet make sure you got all the questions and answers and hope to see you in the next pages and best of luck in your exam